Hi right, guys, Richard Tech Ralph here. Now, we're going to start dismantling things. Now, I've got this to do. Spectrum Plus 2. Tested it before, plugged the 9 volt power in. Doesn't seem to want to work. So, the only thing we can do is get on with the cleaning part. And then we can start, when we're in pieces, we can start testing the um, circuit board and seeing why this doesn't work. Now, six screws. The problem is, these are really deep inside, so screwdriver has to be a manual one. Right. So, as usual, start off with the box. One. Magnets. A magnet on this. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to come out that way. This has obviously had a thing in the past wrong with it. With the um, warranty label there. Uh, uh, systems, whatever, computers. <sighs> Initial Tell them tamper. We've been tampered afterwards. So the because the inside there there's the circle for the label actually inside the hole. So don't care about that. It just gets took to pieces. So one off. I think these are all the same type of screw. There you go, another screw. Three or four can't get. Five. Six, maybe. I'll just turn this round, get it out that way. Uh oh. A delete one fell on the chair, so that's somewhere in there. Four. So I'm two missing. Five. This one here. It's an odd one. I thought it might have been further around than that. There we go, number six. So, screws out. Right, I think we go off. Oh, I've got a cable stuck underneath that metal. There we go. Right, when you open these up, Get on its side, it's better. All right, so tick off for the cassette and I'll leave on for that. So it leaves you open like that. And I've got two ribbon cables, one and two, and puts it in two halves. So, I mean, there could be a, no end of things wrong with this. I mean, that does seem a little slack, but does turn round. So that might not want replacing. Although there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of play in that. So I'm thinking maybe a new tape player section. However, at the minute, I don't really have to go to that because this doesn't actually work. So if this doesn't work, I'm not really bothered about that. So what I will be doing now is use a better screwdriver. Better. Put it on there. So six screws holding the back, little screws holding the board. Little tiny silk so gold ones, at least I've got to see them. So two on the right, two in the middle, and one over here. Must be another one behind here, but if there isn't. Now, last time I, I took this apart, I actually stuck this heat sink down, which is fine, it's out of the way. Heat shield or whatever. Let's see if we can take this off. At least that was unplugged from there, but it might be in the way. So, yeah, it's in the way. I'll take that off. Only a bit of tape on there. So, heat sink. That out of the way, that's also off as well. Better. I feel like it's 
held down, but I can't figure out where. Looks like it's there. There, you can see it. There, a little bit hidden that for some reason. There you go. Bought out. See, not as mucky as what I'd think this one, but we'll give it the works, give it a good clean over, and test. And it's an Amstrad Z10500 the 0500 issue ISS, or should we say issue 3, Amstrad board. I'll leave it there for, for you to pause. If you can see anything wrong with this, that's obvious. Here's a shout. And there as well. Right. Give me one second. Right, I've been looking down at the board, give a bit more inspection. The only thing I can see wrong in my eyes, which is not professional by the way, is, is this chip here. It's the um, 74F74 PC chip. I'm going to base that on the fact that every single one of these chips are matte and this seems to be gloss, like it might have had some high temp on that over the while. That might be utter bull, I don't know. But power comes in here. Yeah. Actually, the outer bit is always going to be a negative. So these two parts here be negative. The positive is this part that runs down here. So that'd mean this part in here is the positive the bit of the bag is the negative. So a negative center, positive, positive outer. Which is fine, it's how I've been working. That diode does seem to be a little bit higher for no reason. It's not mounted right. A little bit of scorching there, that can easily come off. Oh. Let's see what I think this is. A what, 85, 86? So we're talking 32 year old system. So, good to go clean. Inside and out. So, let's keep that there and get that way. I want to take the keyboard off as well. So, I've got to take the screw out of here. You know what, I've got a funny feeling that I have done. Right, so, one, this time this is the right way to do it. Two, hmm. I'm leaving those little ones in for the time being. Four. Four. And two corners missing there. So we're holding one on six. I need to either take the the keyboard keys off to clean. I mean, there's obviously no retro brighting on these to do. This is just one dangle clean. So there's six screws holding this in, but I've only got four. I have to put them in. The longer screws. Hmm. Well, the case had six, so in here I've got one, two, three, four, six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six for the case. Damas. Right. Six for the board. Two hold the board. Six hold, they're the motherboard ones, they're the case ones, these are the keyboard, but only four. Why have I only got four? I know I pause these videos a few times and then I'll carry on. But I don't remember taking 
two screws out. I will find two screws, which means to me that somebody else has already been faffing with this. Right. I don't want to take too much off this. Because I can serve the tape deck enough. Possibly maybe get the um, cassette player out. There's a spring there as well. If I take that out, it stops the uh, the mechanism from staying as it is. So I could possibly take that off now, keep it as it is. It just flops down. Push that up. Motor might be in the way. Push to the side then. This is just to try and give me easier access. Hmm. The hole's definitely. I can see the hole in there with the on both sides, but on here the motor definitely. Yeah. Looks like I might have to take the, screw, the um, tip deck out. Looks like we're on three. That might be on two. Oh, that's a long one. One in the middle. It's a 270501 section of the board. Something to do with audio, maybe. With a screw there. I do want to try and be careful. I don't want to knacker enough wires that I don't really need to. It's the um, button there for recording, possibly. Uh, I'm not too keen on taking that off. I think I can clean around it instead of. Right, is that in metal? That's in metal, so that goes in there. Um, that's in metal as well. But for the time being, worst case, I'll take that off again if I need to, but I think I do need a, a tape band set to update, upgrade this. I can clean the rest of it, I'm sure I can, without having any extra dismantling. So, okay. So we have a six, a six, a four. Okay. Right, let's get cleaning, shall we? Right. First thing first, just to get any loose dirt, if there is any in here. There's definitely some, a bit of fluff. That isn't too bad. Clean, clean, clean. Just to loosen anything, any dirt, anything that's Any kind of level, like on inside of here, sucker for keeping all the uh, dirt on. I don't think this has probably been sat in a in somebody's cupboard for years, and it won't exactly been in a nicely cleaned office or anything like that. So, you know yourself, just take it steady. Clean as much as you can, take as much crap off as you can. The longer it takes, the better it's going to look, basically. This side there for a reset. See, most of these old systems were air cooled, and anything that was too hot would just eventually just casually plod out of here. So, hmm, let's keep going and I'll get back to you in a minute. 
And the outer case itself isn't that bad on the back. Just again, a good clean. If you're going to do this yourself, then just don't, don't be too scared of it, but try not to be an idiot. I mean, that sticker on the back, I don't know if there's an official sticker or what, but it's part of an official sticker, and that's not good enough for me. That, I don't really care. In 1993, this was either serviced or scrapped or whatever. The sticker is horrible. This is isopropanol. A flat but sharpish sort of plastic edge. You usually do this. If you're too aggressive, then you'll damage the case. I could use a scalpel on this or a Stanley knife or something, but I will definitely damage the case. And plod along. And this being a plastic sort of casing, it's no point being too aggressive. I'm covering everything in, in bits of this little label there. I'm sure it didn't peel off in one, one whole lump, yeah. It's almost like it's been painted on. I'll keep going. Okay, bottom case done. Label off. You could go absolutely bomb with these. I mean, I don't want to put this in the um, in the sink, leave it overnight. You can do that, get rid of a lot of the grease. There isn't any grease on here, to be honest. If I wanted to go bomb, I could get cotton bud inside each one of these. It's really not that bad. So, at the minute, it's still a possibility this won't work. So, that's really good cleaning, I think, for the time being. The same on the top and the circuit board. Actually, well, the circuit board here. Let's get on with this. Now, sleeves up, don't be scared. This is isopropyl alcohol. Not to be worried about it, just cleans between everything. This will almost sterilise this, to be honest. I have alcohol in this, but it's just a attempt at a good clean, occasionally clean, clean your brush. Like I said before, this really actually wasn't that bad. We definitely had a. Um, Expansion port in here. You know, I don't plan on having one in, to be honest. And even this here, this is a heat sink for the, does um, it mean CPU? We've got a CPU there, an Amstrad 40054, and the ROM chips. Another chip there, which is. Oh, I don't bloody know. Another Amstrad 4 to blow 5 7. I said this one here, it's. it's that's. I, I wouldn't. I'm worried about that one. Definitely worried. I don't know what chip it is, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Contacts for the. Ports there look fine. Getting a little bit of cotton bud in a bit. And maybe it just be a simple case of. Yeah, I'm hoping that might have been loose. Same for the side. This is dirt cheap for what it is. Not to worry about it, the cost of it. having a kitchen towel and wiping the back uh, wiping the back of a circuit board because every single one of these contacts will pull a little bit off and maybe a dab maybe some lint free stuff 
a better cloth that you can clean every so often. If not, just let the alcohol dry. It's definitely pulling a lot of dirt off. I do like to get the um, the blower on this to come you clean. There's as much crap out, so I'll get this plug plugger in. And what I've found, anything that's underneath anything kind of does get cleaned out rather quickly, so noisy. Yeah, that's gone. Look at how that's gone there, there. So much crap on there. Just needs another damn good clean. It's kind of dried it out, powdered it actually. It dried the alcohol too quick. Hmm. Very strange. I'll put that to one side. Right, that is a job on its on its own. I don't know whether or not. I don't think taking that off is a good idea. I don't think a um, puller would be good either. Let me try on something. No. bad as it is. So I think a bit of brush, a bit of air. Not bad at all, really. We get a good over the top of the keys anyway. I want to be careful about the ribbon cables and don't want to break them at all. And I'm guessing these tabs you can push out and release the plastic part. I don't want to do that. That's kind of scary for me to do. So this isn't too bad really, you just need a damn good clean at the minute. That was a paper towel. Wouldn't be there. The thing about this doesn't look grey. This is the um Yeah. I don't know what version this is, I'm sure somebody can put in the um, description below in the comments. But it doesn't look that grey to me. It's kind of green. Unless that's its um, way of fading over the years. But I've seen some on eBay that are absolutely shocking, the bad grey. They're so light a grey that they're just they're anemic. Or they've been painted. 
I just don't know. I mean, all in all, it's not bad, really. Case-wise, I knew I'd buy a decent one. Just I wish they were a bit better on the board. Than what it is. So, I'll well, continue with this. Give it a good clean. I've got BBCs to do as well anyway for the cleaning, so we need to run side by side on these. Thanks for watching, and like I said, don't be scared. If you want to do this yourself on your own Spectrum or your own computer, have a go, have a try. I mean, that board looks shocking at the minute, but centre part, yeah, just polishes up, polishes back up, just dust on it. Yeah, don't be scared. You think you're doing something like that, and you think, oh, it's gone absolutely shocking, the bad. Oh, come on. If you break things, then things can always be mended or replaced with something same as. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.